A whirlpool or maelstrom is a body of rotating water produced by opposing currents or a current running into an obstacle. Small whirlpools form when a bath or a sink is draining. More powerful ones in seas or oceans may be termed maelstroms. Vortex is the proper term for a whirlpool that has a downdraft. In narrow ocean straits with fast flowing water, whirlpools are often caused by tides. Many stories tell of ships being sucked into a maelstrom, although only smaller craft are actually in danger. Smaller whirlpools appear at river rapids and can be observed downstream of man made structures such as weirs and dams. Large cataracts, such as Niagara Falls, produce strong whirlpools. Notable whirlpools Saltstroman The maelstrom of Saltstroman is Earth's strongest maelstrom. It is located close to the Arctic Circle, 33 kilometers, 20 miles, round the bay on Highway 17, southeast of the city of Bodo, Norway. The strait at its narrowest is 150 meters, 490 feet in width and water. Funnels through the channel four times a day. It is estimated that 400 million cubic meters 110 billion U.S. gallons of water passes the narrow strait during this event. The water is creamy in color and most turbulent during high tide. It is often witnessed by tourists. It reaches speeds of 40 km per hour, 25 miles per hour, with mean speed of about 13 km per hour, 8.1 miles per hour. As navigation is dangerous in this strait only a short segment of time is available for large ships to pass through. Its impressive strength is caused by the world's strongest tide occurring in the same location during the new and full moon. A narrow channel of 3 kilometers 2 miles length connects the outer salt fjord with its extension, the large Skjærstadford, causing a colossal tide which produces the Saltstroman maelstrom. Moskstroman Moskstroman or Moskystrom is an unusual system of whirlpools in the open seas in the Lofoten Islands off the Norwegian coast. It is the second strongest whirlpool in the world with flow currents reaching speeds as high as 32 km per hour, 20 miles per hour. This is supposedly the whirlpool depicted in Olus Magnus map, labeled as Horrenda Charybdis, Charybdis. The Moskstroman is formed by the combination of powerful semi-diurnal tides and the unusual shape of the seabed, with a shallow ridge between the Moskinesoya and Vyaroy Islands, which amplifies and whirls the tidal currents. The fictional depictions of the maelstrom by Edgar Allan Poe, Jules Verne, and Sixon Liu describe it as a gigantic circular vortex that reaches the bottom of the ocean, when in fact it is a set of currents and crosscurrents with a rate of 18 km per hour, 11 miles per hour. Poe described this phenomenon in his short story A Descent into the Maelstrom, which during 1841 was the first to use the word Maelstrom in the English language, in this story related to the Lofoten Maelstrom, two fishermen are swallowed by the Maelstrom while one survives. Korivrekin The Korivrekin is a narrow strait between the islands of Jura and Skarba, in Argyll and Butte, on the northern side of the Gulf of Korivrekin, Scotland. It is the third largest whirlpool in the world. Flood tides and inflow from the Firth of Lorne to the west can drive the waters of Korivrekin to waves of more than 9 meters 30 feet, and the roar of the resulting maelstrom, which reaches speeds of 18 km per hour, 11 miles per hour can be heard 16 km 9 .9 miles away. 
Though it was classified initially as non-navigable by the British Navy it was later categorized as extremely dangerous. A documentary team from Scottish independent producers Northlight Productions once threw a mannequin into the Corryvreckan, the hag, with a life jacket and depth gauge. The mannequin was swallowed and spat up far down current with a depth gauge reading of 262 meters, 860 feet, with evidence of being dragged along the bottom for a great distance. Topic. Other notable maelstroms and whirlpools Old Sow Whirlpool is located between Deer Island, New Brunswick, Canada, and Moose Island, Eastport, Maine, USA. It is given the epithet, pig-like, as it makes a screeching noise when the vortex is at its full fury and reaches speeds of as much as 27.6 km per hour, 17.1 miles per hour. The smaller whirlpools around this old sow are known as piglets. The Naruto whirlpools are located in the Naruto Strait near Awaji Island in Japan, which have speeds of 26 km per hour, 16 miles per hour. Skukumchuk Narrows is a tidal rapids that develops whirlpools, on the Sunshine Coast, Canada with current speeds exceeding 30 km per hour, 19 miles per hour. French Pass is a narrow and treacherous stretch of water that separates Derville Island from the north end of the South Island of New Zealand. During 2000 a whirlpool there caught student divers, resulting in fatalities. A short-lived whirlpool sucked in a portion of the 1300-acre, approximately 530 hectares Lake Peignore in Louisiana, United States after a drilling mishap on 20 November 1980. This was not a naturally occurring whirlpool, but a man-made disaster caused by underwater drillers breaking through the roof of a salt mine. The lake then drained into the mine until the mine filled and the water levels equalized, but the formerly 10-foot deep lake was now 1,300 feet deep. This mishap resulted in destruction of five houses, loss of 19 barges and eight tugboats, oil rigs, a mobile home, trees, acres of land, and most of a botanical garden. The adjacent settlement of Jefferson Island was reduced in area by 10%. A crater 0.5 mile approximately 1 kilometer across was left behind. Nine of the barges which had sunk floated back, a more recent example of a man-made whirlpool that received significant media coverage occurred during early June 2015, when an intake vortex formed in Lake Texoma, on the Oklahoma-Texas border, near the floodgates of the dam that forms the lake. At the time of the whirlpool's formation, the lake was being drained after reaching its highest level ever. The Army Corps of Engineers, which operates the dam and lake, expected that the whirlpool would last until the lake reached normal seasonal levels by late July. Topic. Dangers Powerful whirlpools have killed unlucky seafarers, but their power tends to be exaggerated by laymen. There are virtually no stories of large ships ever being sucked into a whirlpool. Tales like those by Paul the Deacon, Edgar Allan Poe, and Jules Verne are entirely fictional, however, temporary whirlpools caused by major engineering disasters can submerge large ships, like the Lake Peignore disaster described above. Topic. In literature and popular culture Besides Poe and Verne, another literary source is of the 1500s, Olus Magnus, a Swedish bishop, who had stated that a maelstrom more powerful than the one written about in the Odyssey sucked in ships which sank to the bottom of the sea, and even whales were pulled in. 
Pythias, the Greek historian, also mentioned that Maelstrom swallowed ships and threw them up again. The monster Charybdis of Greek mythology was later rationalized as a whirlpool, which sucked entire ships into its fold in the narrow coast of Sicily, a disaster faced by navigators. During the 8th century, Paul the Deacon, who had lived among the Belgi, described tidal bores and the Maelstrom for a Mediterranean audience unused to such violent tidal surges. Not very far from this shore, toward the western side, on which the ocean main lies open without end, is that very deep whirlpool of waters which we call by its familiar name, the navel of the sea. This is said to suck in the waves and spew them forth again twice every day. Dot dot dot. They say there is another whirlpool of this kind between the island of Britain and the province of Galicia, and with this fact the coasts of the Seine region and of Aquitaine agree, for they are filled twice a day with such sudden inundations that anyone who may by chance be found only a little inward from the shore can hardly get away. I have heard a certain high nobleman of the Gauls relating that a number of ships, shattered at first by a tempest, were afterwards devoured by this same Charybdis. And when one only out of all the men who had been in these ships, still breathing, swam over the waves, while the rest were dying, he came, swept by the force of the receding waters, up to the edge of that most frightful abyss. And when now he beheld yawning before him the deep chaos whose end he could not see, and half dead from very fear, expected to be hurled into it, suddenly in a way that he could not have hoped he was cast upon a certain rock and sat him down. Three of the most notable literary references to the Lofoten Maelstrom date from the 19th century. The first is a short story by Edgar Allan Poe named, A Descent into the Maelstrom, 1841. The second is 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, 1870, a novel by Jules Verne. At the end of this novel, Captain Nemo seems to commit suicide, sending his Nautilus submarine into the maelstrom although in Verne's sequel Nemo and the Nautilus were seen to have survived. The Norway Maelstrom is also mentioned in Herman Melville's Moby Dick. In The Life of St. Columba, the author, Adamnan of Iona, attributes to the saint miraculous knowledge of a particular bishop who sailed into a whirlpool off the coast of Ireland. In Adamnan's narrative, he quotes Columba saying, Coleman Mac Bayagni has set sail to come here, and is now in great danger in the surging tides of the whirlpool of Corivrecken. Sitting in the prow, he lifts up his hands to heaven and blesses the turbulent, terrible seas. Yet the Lord terrifies him in this way, not so that the ship in which he sits should be overwhelmed and wrecked by the waves, but rather to rouse him to pray more fervently that he may sail through the peril and reach us here. Topic. Etymology One of the earliest uses in English of the Scandinavian word, maelstrom or maelstrom, was by Edgar Allan Poe in his short story, A Descent into the Maelstrom, 1841. The Nordic word itself is derived from the Dutch word maelstrom, modern spelling maelstrom, from malen, to mill or to grind, and strum, stream, to form the meaning grinding current or literally, mill stream. In the sense of milling, grinding, grain. Whirlpools. Topic. See also. Coriolis effect. Eddy, fluid dynamics. Rip current.